Firefighters in Weber County are trying to prevent ice rescues this time of year. They spent the afternoon training in a pond to not only freshen up their skills, but show us how weak the ice is. Fox 13's Haley Higgins takes us there. Walking out of the ice at the 21st Street Pond in Ogden with the intention of falling in. This is training rescue in Weber County. <laughs> the ice is variable and it's changing every day. Um, it's easy for someone to fall in. That's why Weber Fire District Captain Chris Wheaton says they're out on the ice. Firefighters with Weber and Riverdale Fire Departments are brushing up on their skills and preparing for the worst. We never know, especially with how weak the ice is. And as we experienced today, guys were just falling through. The rescuers are dressed head to toe in gear designed to keep them warm. And they're prepared to fall into freezing waters about 100 yards out from the shore. But it's not always the case in an emergency, and often Wheaton says people underestimate the conditions. They think it's really cold, um, but the wind temperature doesn't necessarily dictate how, how thick the ice is or how strong the ice is. Wheaton says conditions on the ice can change quickly. The firefighters have a plan of action to make sure they don't get into trouble themselves during a rescue operation. They take turns falling into the water and being pulled to safety by rescuers on shore, sliding across the frozen sheet of ice. Because the ice is so weak, we can't, it won't support our body weight, so we have to lay down and either crawl or even scoot on our stomachs. Wheaton says if you fall in, try to self-rescue. Crawl back out of the ice if you can. And it's important to stay calm. The more you work, the quicker you can become hypothermic. And if you see someone fall in the ice, first call 911, and then he says reach for a stick or anything to try and help pull the person out of the water. We never suggest people go out uh, just for the mere fact that they then a lot of times become victims themselves. And now we have two people that we're trying to save instead of just one. Haley Higgins. It's just so unpredictable where's safe and where's not down here. Fox 13 News, Utah.